Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, our channel is growing along with our beautiful community. You know, being able to know we can send beautiful vibes towards, towards each and every one of us and being able to educate ourselves and bring awareness to the things that we might struggle on a daily basis is truly a blessing so I, I'm just glad that we can all be able to share that beautiful experience so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like um, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also um, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's, you know, a positive feedback on the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to give how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you're comfortable enough, um, I mean, if the video gives you good information or good vibes um, that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times and need uh, spiritual guidance or just confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up. Like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Uh, thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, today, uh, the music I'm listening to in the background is called Unlock Block Emotions, Overcome Fear and Emotional uh, Blockages, Let Go of Emotional Stress. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today, uh, my video is Twin Flame 101. Uh, this is... Uh, hey, Okas, this is your season to elevate to what you, to where, where you are meant to be. It is. It's just like, like I told y'all a few months ago, you know, a lot of us is getting this urge or even a strange feeling, you know, there's a big impact coming our way. Um, a lot of us is, uh, you know, empaths are, you know, coming one with, you know, with our, you know, with our gifts as well. A lot of us are, our gifts are heightened. Um, to the point where we had to go through tragic situations for us to be able to recognize the power that we have instilled in us. You know, it's been laying dormant for so long. And it just takes us to have to go through all these different changes, like the spring equinox, the crescent moon, the strawberry moon. Um, it was so many, the retrograde, all these different things. The, you know, the, what was it? We just had the, um, the moon phase of uh, Scorpio, I think it was, and the other one was Gemini, and then before that was Taurus. So a lot of us are going through these uh, different uh, upgrades, you know, major upgrades. There's a lot of things that is, you know, giving you all those downloads and everything for you to be able to know, you know, what your journey is. Or, you know, there's a lot of us still trying to understand the concept of our journey, which is okay. You know, you know, some of us can be aggravated like, dang, I should have been here. I should have been there. You have to understand everything has to go with the emotion. We're in that wheels, you know, of going to where we need to be or, you know, putting ourselves in it. But we have to go through, you know, mishaps. We got to go through failures. We got to go through mistakes. Everything is a learning, you know, process for us to be able to know. So don't ever feel like, you know, you're moving slower than you should be or you should have been in a certain situation by then trust me if it was supposed to be there you would have been there already but you had to go through a series of all these different things of finding yourself you know knowing yourself being able to embrace what you know it has been placed upon you because there are a lot of times you're looking like what the what i'm a what <laughs> you know because there's a lot of people that i've connected with and it's like the more people we connect with it it, it like triggers our you know our gifts you know there could be people you know, I used to have to, you know, touch their picture and then I started seeing things, you know, people are asking me, Rosalind, can you help me with this certain situation? You know, there could be people addicted to things that can really kill them or, you know, addicted to things that, you know, their, their loved one or somebody close to them is like really concerned about. So there's all these different situations, you know, like I told y'all before, if you've been with me for a while, you knew there was sometimes I used to do my videos high, you know, cause if I look at some of my videos from back in the day, I'm like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. But 
you know, that was how I got to my higher self. That's where a lot of my, my information came from is when I used to smoke weed. But now it's like I'm blessed to be able to not have to need anything that is uh, that stimulate, you know, that, that gift. You know, before I used to think that, oh, the only way I can get in touch with certain things is to be able to smoke. So it's just like after I sit up here and let go of it and make peace with it, I try to sit up here and smoke again. And that one of the same effect I got before when I was functioning with it. You know, now it's like, oh, it brings on paranoia. Or it's just like one of them highs, you just praying to God, I will never smoke again if you just let me get away from this high. I know if there's some people been, <laughs> you had, like, you had a had series that either you done got drunk, you were playing over the, you know, the porcelain God and just like, God, please. Please just let me sober up. I promise I won't drink no more. I've been on them sessions before. But now I'm just like, well, I'm okay. I'm not going to go that route no more. You know, so I had to teach myself a valuable lesson. You know, my kids were like, Mom, do you feel like you fell off the wig? Uh, the wig, not the wig, but the wheel. Uh, the bandwagon or whatever they call it and I'm like you know what actually I don't I don't feel bad because I felt like you know what it was on my birthday and God already knows how I feel about my birthday it's just like that's an eyesore to me there you know so much depression and sadness comes behind my birthday so it's like you know I wanted to live it up you know that's the only time I was going to do that so I can actually be okay with myself I can make peace with myself because you know anybody else that you know I felt like if I felt it was like something that was major going on in my life and where I felt like I had to pick up a cigarette or I had to roll me a blunt or whatever like that to be able to get through it. Then I would have felt some type of way. But then it's just like, you know what? I needed it. You know, the universe allowed me to have that open door. Like, okay, we're going to let you do it and see how you're going to feel about that. And then I said, you know what? I, I, I understand where y'all are coming from. Thank you for allowing me to see that because I can't go back to doing the things that I used to do. That's just like... You know, we we go through all these different levels of knowing ourselves, embracing things that we didn't know. You know, being able to connect with other empaths allows that other switch to get switched on about the other gifts that's been holding on. Because God and universe allows you to know about a certain amount of gifts. We can't be loaded up with all this stuff and say, okay, deal with it. We're already dealing with enough. You know, we got these different changes our bodies are going through. Then there's all these different things we're trying to learn, all these different things we're trying to heal from. And then on top that you throwing a couple of gifts in here that I didn't even wasn't even aware about you know because you know things were you know are starting to change and you're like am I the only one going through this and you know is anybody else being affected by that you know that's that's how we are learning that's why I love the fact that I do these videos you know probably you know every day or you know every other day or whatever you know being able to allow myself to go through certain situations to be able to project that onto videos for other people to be understanding about their situation it gives them gives y'all an ease to your mind to let you know you're not alone you know a lot of us are learning about ourselves every day you know I used to get mad when somebody said do you know the real you and these would be people that are awakened and now there wasn't my time yet it wasn't my season to be able to be sprouted out like that so I'm looking at you like excuse me what are you talking about I know myself inside and out no the hell I didn't because if I knew all the things I knew I'm like wait a minute you know what I didn't know myself you know, it's just like you can ask yourself, do you love yourself? You can't say that you love yourself, you know, because I remember John, uh, Jay Sheedy had a video out and it said, you know, how can you can't love anybody that you don't know? And it's just like, and I was just like, huh? Let me go ahead and, you know, I got to hit this and see what he talking about because Jay always be talking about some good stuff. And if you put me on about, oh, this is what I want to talk about by mine, not to kept copycat, but it'll be something that really triggered me into an emotional state that I need to go ahead and project out in my video. So I'm very grateful for those type of people that has been in my life to be able to impact. Like y'all, y'all give me content. It could be a conversation I'm hearing with you and then something will stick out like that. And they're like, okay, this is your content for this because... I asked the universe to allow me to be able to come up with content to help other people along their path, being able to know the things that they need to know or bring to light about things that they might not have been aware of or don't have that voice to actually project for themselves. So it is just, this is our season for us to be able to be all we can be. You know, we have all gone through this boot camp of empathism I guess if you want to call it that you know of being able to accept what we are you know it, it can put you in a, a shock state of mind you know to be able to have that concept of knowing who you truly are there's a lot of things about ourselves that can be placed upon it's like people I connect with and then the more they're starting to tell me things that's going on and all this stuff start highlighting tell them about this tell them I'm like oh what the what why I gotta be that okay 
you know, they were like, this is what we sent you there for. That's why we brought them to you, you know, for them to be able to know. And, you know, and it's a beautiful thing. And it's just like, I don't know what it is, but it seems like everybody I get on this personal one-on-one -on -one with is probably one person. And they know who they are that has not broke down and cried. And I'm just like, damn, I ain't trying to make nobody cry. But it brings on emotion for me to be able to see people for what they truly are. And it's just like God gave me that gift. You know, like I said, we're all hidden in plain sight. We're not supposed to be seen in that way. If it was, we would have been out here like that. Because I tell people, you're like, if you ever seen Men in Black movie, you know how they were talking about this big, huge planet that, you know, all the, you know, the bad aliens were looking for because they had to have this planet. They know it's been molded in certain things that would be where they least expected at. And come to find out this cat had that planet on his chain that whole time and they didn't realize that. So they place us in plain sight to where they'll second guess what we are. That's the reason why we're made like we are. Like there could be people that have autism and they look at it as a handicap or somebody it's just like when you see uh some of those people that have amputees that were soldiers and stuff like that and they end up doing things that people with all their limbs can't barely do like you know it, it's amazing when you can see stuff like that like if you see um a person that was you know a runner that was all in these triathlons or whatever you want to call it and next thing you know their feet got amputated because of cancer or whatever that was going on and then you see them with these things and they're just bouncing and stuff like that and it looks alienated but it looks cool in that effect i'm like god dog i can't i got feet and i can't even run that fast you know unless something was after me that's the only way i'm gonna haul ass like that but being able to see somebody that don't have legs and they have those things on them and they're able to Yes, they're, they're, we're all put placed in things where you least expect it because they want you to feel like, oh, this person's too special. They can't be able to do that. And actually, it's totally opposite of what you were molded to be. Or this person's like this where they feel like you're a handicap. And you're actually more powerful than people that have all the things that they have. You have to be able to know yourself like that inside and out. But it's just like right now, we are all elevating into things that are very unknown to us, very very foreign so it's just a beautiful thing for you to be able to recognize the things within yourself knowing you have to always leave that door of unexpectancy to know that universe might drop another you know few more gifts on you that you weren't aware weren't aware of you know because a lot of times you have to look at it this way and some people know who i'm talking about especially if i've been on one-on-one -on -one. i ain't trying to tell you business because we already said that's conf confidential there's a lot of times that, you know, you will have these dreams that you you keep going back to that certain place. Those are things that's reminding you. Those are little Easter eggs that, you know, the universe has placed in your life for you to just have that memory. Because if you know that you, are, you, you know, your dreams or even daydreams where you have been placed in certain places, you think, oh, okay, this is my safe place. This is where I dream, you know, I am. You know, there are certain things in your life that has kept you going back to this dream for years and years at a time. You might feel like, oh, this is where I feel happy at. This is my symbolism of this. You know, that's the universe placing that Easter egg to say, don't forget where you came from. Be aware of what you are to where you're not anymore. Because it's like you're not because you have to have your memory wiped out. You have to be able to learn yourself all over again because it would have been too easy for you to figure out if you would have came up in here into this life knowing what you knew. You had to uncondition yourself. You had to go through all everything all over again, start by, back from square one. So you have to be able to educate yourself knowing that you had that power, that confidence, you know, to be able to see behind everything, to know that you have that power to be able to be knowing this is your season to mold yourself to where you want to be. So it's just like a lot of times, you know, like I said, we, we feel like um, we look in the mirror and we see the things that we're not happy about with ourselves or we have these certain insecurities and flaws we all got them there's something that you're insecure about but this is your time to be able to work on those things for you to be able to see yourself at that higher higher point in your life you can't be able to see yourself as mediocre or whatever when you have that big power to be able to impact something in life you have to be able to see yourself as like that c4 bomb that you know once you explode they'll be able to feel your echo of your vibrations from 
cities and cities on you have to be able to see yourself like that as soon as i said that thunder started going yeah it's storming here so i'm just glad i'm actually having the energy because when it rains like this i'm ready to be up under a thick blanket watching some kind of scary short animations or something like that and go to sleep but i'm just blessed that god has given me these different insights that they want me to place upon y'all today so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. It's just such a blessing I can be able to talk to y'all and y'all give me this beautiful content where there's things that needs to be talked about, you know, when I go through certain stages of, you know, my empath counseling, which, which I'm very blessed to be able to do. But like I said, I, um, I reopened my Facebook group page. It's called Hey Oka Spiritual uh, Journey. Um, please go ahead and send a request there if you're able to, uh, if you want to be able to be comfortable on that platform like I said I'm opening that group up because I don't think as long as I know my knowledge there is nobody that's on Facebook that has a Hayoka group page so I really wanted that to be special it's like I had this here and I want to be able to make that platform there for us to be able to have open discussions share different memes memes or whatever they call it uh, links you know from where if there's a certain moon phase that we need to be aware of or is there a certain certain shift that's going on we need to be aware of or even asking questions about different different other other people's different opinions about certain things that we might struggle with you know all that stuff there I wanted that platform to be uh, to where I can you know push people out their comfort zone there's a lot of things that that we need to discuss and you should be comfortable with, with being there so if you would love to join I would love to have you or either even if you want to do a simple one-on-one -on -one where you need to discuss things with me like I tell y'all all the time it's truly confidential um, I talk to a lot of people there you know it helps them make sense on the reason why they're going through the th certain things that they're going through or me being able to see the things that they need to know about themselves that they can't see so you know it'll be greatly appreciate it so like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line let me know if you resonate so i can give you a post notification shout out on my next video uh know that you are truly blessed only favorite and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and i'll give me a post notification shout out to miss Teresa and miss sydney much love to you as well and I will see you on my next video. Have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Make sure you send out love and light and positivity to someone. Uh, you, your kindness can really take somebody a long way. Mwah. Later. See you on my next video.